Good morning, children of God. Welcome to St. Mark's Methodist Church and Children's Moments with Miss Robin. I hope you're having a happy Sunday. If we were in Sunday school today, I would ask you to draw me a picture of your family. I've done this many times in my life, teaching Sunday school and teaching kindergarten through fifth grade. And some of the pictures I would get might look a little bit like this one. I love the smiles on this family's face and the little baby in mommy's arm and the happy little dog to the side. It might look more colorful like this one. Love the way the little girl is floating up in the air, don't you? And that cute little brown doggy on the side. Families, though, look very different, don't they? Families can come in all shapes and all sizes and include all kinds of different relatives. This picture is of an extended family. That means there's grandma, granddad, aunts, uncles, children, all gathered together for this great big family picture. Sometimes families are smaller families, like the one that I see here. Just mommy, daddy, and two very happy children. Families can be smaller. There might be a family where it's just daddy and children, or just mommy and daughter. But families could also be very large with many, many children in them, like this family. Mommy, daddy, and let's see, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten children. That looks like a handful to me. Or it could be small like this family. Out for a great vacation at the beach with just mommy, daddy, and daughter. Families could also not have any children at all. Here's a man and his wife and his two pet dogs. They also are a family. Families are when people gather together. They support each other. They love each other. They help each other out, not only in bad times, but also in good times. Families share and love and care. But not all people have a family that they were born into. Some families are made of adopted children, like this one. When you're adopted, that means you didn't grow in your mother and father's tummy. But for some reason, the mom and dad, who were considered your birth parents, were not able to raise you. So they gave you up to a family who could raise you. Many families that I've read and talked to about adoption tell me that being given an adopted child or a child to adopt was the greatest gift they thought could ever be given. A sacrifice of the birth mother and father to let somebody else raise their child. This family, you can see, has adopted many, many children. They may not all have the same skin color. They may not be at all like their adopted mother and father, but they're still family. Adoption means that you were chosen to be a part of your family. In John, the first, John 1, 12 through 13, it talks to us about God doing this for us. And this is what it says. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed, he gave the right to become the children of God. Children born not of natural descent, nor of human, or by the husband's will, but born of God. When God sent Jesus to us, he made it so we can be a part of his family. And here's a picture of 
the family of God. God chose to take us to be his beloved children. Jesus made it so that we can be adopted as God's kids. This means a lot of neat blessings for us. For one thing, we know that we will live with God in heaven one day. We also know that he promises us his kingdom. Another spectacular bonus is that we are all sons and daughters of God, and that makes us all brothers and sisters in Christ. It's like we have one big family of believers. All we have to do is accept his love and his adoption, and we can be with him and all other believers in the family of God. That's pretty special. So because we're all in the family of God, it's even more essential that we love each other and take care of one another. We look different. We all have different earthly families. But because God chose to adopt us as his children, we are his. And we have fellowship with one another. Jesus came to live and die so that we can be his brothers and sisters. Let's thank God for that. And remember to live in gratitude. Let's bow our head and pray. Dear God, on this Sunday, I would like to say once again, thank you. Thank you for choosing me to be your child. Thank you for allowing me to be a part of your family. Thank you for giving me this wonderful church family. What a blessing they have been to me in my life. Dear God, I ask you to surround them with your grace and your love and your care as we love and grow and learn in Jesus. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. And I'll see you next Sunday for Children's Moments. <music>